Hey Gemini, thanks for joining me today guys. I hope you're having a great Monday so far. We're going to use the tea leaf cards today. We'll see what messages the universe and spirit has for you. Okay, so we have flute. So disappointment in a friend or a lover. It's definitely dealing with some sort of issue with somebody in our lives. I do have happiness though. So I feel like we are going to be able to find happiness. We will be able to find that inner peace. A uh, cat, a two-faced friend. Well, shit, this has got to fit into this flute card and someone's being a jerk off. I also have caterpillar. So things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So definitely speaking to this happiness card and you will be finding your way out of whatever the hell is going on right now uh, with this cat and this flute card. I also have April. So April can speak to a birthday. It can also speak to uh, the end of a chapter of your life, the beginning of a new one or an important event for you. I have read period of prosperity and abundance. So this is this caterpillar card. This is this change that's coming that's going to bring happiness into your life. I also have wealth. Interesting. I wouldn't mind that card for myself. Wealth is a fantastic card to have and I feel like that's this change that's going to be coming into your life. I also have wind chimes, peace and harmony. So this is what I was feeling with the happiness card and the direction that you're going to be moving in. So whatever, whatever the hell is going on, with this negativity, I feel like uh, this financial, if there's a financial burden that's happening right now, I definitely feel like that situation or financial situation is about to change. That's going to bring some ease uh, in other areas of your life and definitely a chance for you to be able to find that peace and harmony again. I also have boots, so increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals and that might speak to uh, whatever you're working towards as well, working towards this bread, this prosperity. And this might speak to happiness too and doing some of that emotional work to be able to, to let go of disappointment and anger and resentment, guys. I have basket recognition, reward for merit. I feel like these things all tie in together. This boot card, stepping it up a notch in whatever it is to be able to get your goals is going to get noticed and it's going to be rewarded with this wealth in this red card. Let's see what we got here. So we have the Ace of Swords. Perfect. Ace of Swords represents triumph, so definitely see success in your journey here and whatever you're going for. And the Five of Pentacles, yeah, so you are going through a rough time financially now, uh, but that is about to change from what the rest of the cards are saying, guys. Yeah, and then I have the Nine of Pentacles, which represents happiness and abundance. So the two things that we were talking about uh, with these tea leaf cards are being reflected in the tarot cards as well. I also have Page of Wands, which represents good news on the way. So I feel like it's speaking to this change that's coming, this change that you're working hard for. Whatever this is, is about to be recognized and rewarded. Oops. I have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess can represent your intuition, that spiritual side of you. Uh, it can speak to you, sort of trusting your intuition to help guide you on your journey. It can speak to sort of the spiritual side of things, sort of helping to guide you and bringing about wonderful things in your life too. The Eight of Wands represents swift change. So whatever this is, this, this money change that's going to be happening, whether this is a new career opportunity uh, or some sort of money that's coming your way, it's going to be happening right away. This is a swift change, guys. Temperance card represents balance between emotion and logic. That is tied to this flute and this cat. And the disappointment from whoever this person was and the drama from all the situation, the emotional fallout of it, not letting it hinder you from your path to success, not hanging on to it to the point that it drags you down. I also have the Six of Pentacles which represents wealth and abundance. Uh, it can also speak to generosity and balance here, guys, too. Now, I feel like peace and harmony is all about balance, right? And definitely wealth. These scales are overflowing, so I feel like that's coming your way. I have the tower card. So the tower card represents a sudden or unexpected ending. This is tied into this flute card. So there must have been a relationship uh, that came to an end, um, so maybe this was a romantic relationship that came to an end. It, it could have even been a marriage. I feel like there would have been something, if the financial end is tied into it, it's something with combined assets that are having to be divided. And I almost wonder if a friend, ugh, I hate to say it, but if a friend wasn't involved and maybe there was, there was an affair uh, that happened. But definitely, uh, well, they can fucking have each other. If that's who they are, then they can have each other and they friggin' deserve each other. And you deserve happiness and you're about to get rewarded by a bunch of wealth that's going to help to improve the quality of your life and bring you that happiness and that peace and that harmony again, which will be a hell of a lot easier to find uh, without all of this in your life, this stupid cat card and this flute card, this disappointment. This is not the kind of bullshit anybody needs in their life. Just happiness, love, and harmony.
Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name into the draw. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.